you'd be okay. <laughs> so worry, baby. This is Nixon. He's your friend, too. Nixon, this is... We should probably come up with a name for you. I'm going to call you Sniffles, because you're always sniffling. <laughs> I don't see your mom or brothers and sisters. Maybe they're back at the nest. Let's go check. Do you remember where it is, Sniffles? It's a two that way. Come on, Nixon. Your nest is beside a waterfall? Lucky you, Sniffles. But I don't see your mom or your brothers and sisters around. Why don't you wait here for your family while I take Nixon back to Kai? I'll come back to check on you. Oh, he's falling asleep. Been a long day for the little baby. Sweet dino dream, Sniffles. Come on, Nixon, time to go. <laughs> Nixon, come on! Nixon, come on! What's gotten into you? here with you. Think, Dana, think. Hi, Mama Trudon. Squawk. It's just us. Your two babies in here. Squawk. Did you take this? I guess you did. But why? I better go. Or maybe not. Why are you not letting me leave? Are you listening for something? That's my chance. Bye, baby. The baby trudon's outside its burrow. 
What if there's a predator around? Better get the baby back inside. Love a little tasty snack like you. your mom. She built a burrow for you and protected you from a predator. Moms are great. Experiment 521. How does the N1 to source defend themselves? Oh, hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> Aw, you, baby, are so cute. You don't understand me, do you? Hold on. and T-Rex spawning. Plan, Dana. First, let's lure the T-Rex away so we can figure out why the baby didn't take the lettuce. Meet lure coming up. Hey, T-Rex, want some more yummy beef jerky? <laughs> it's working. Hey, baby Triceratops, now's your chance to run. <laughs> Why is the baby Triceratops running after the T-Rex? Good question. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe the baby isn't running after the T-Rex. Maybe he's running towards the beef jerky. But I thought you said Triceratops were herbivores. They are. Or they're supposed to be. Then why would it want the beef jerky? We'll have to perform a taste test, but first, We've got to deal with the T-Rex. Hey, T-Rex, you hungry? Then go get it! Hey, baby Triceratops, do you like beef jerky too? Then here you go. Whoa, he's eating meat. Taste test complete. The Triceratops didn't take the veggie bait because he likes to eat beef jerky. Nice work, Rescuer Sara. Triceratops high three. Rawr. Rawr. Maybe Triceratops spotted. Full stop, Conductor! And looks like it's.
Lucy's mom's here with them, too. Let's taste test if the mom triceratops seeds made our veggies. That way we'll know for sure if they're herbivores or carnivores. Who's hungry? doesn't make any sense. Why does the baby eat meat, but the mom doesn't? Maybe it's like me and the trains. Are you saying the baby gets bored of meat? No. I'm saying there are some things you like when you're younger that you don't really like when you get older. That's it? Sometimes baby animals eat different things so they can grow faster and stronger, so that way they can get away from big dinos like the... <laughs> We're out of beef jerky. Conductor, go see you Doorway. Now, how am I going to finish my dino experiment and see if your body temperature changes whether you're inside or out? Okay, relax. I hear you. <laughs> well, I'm glad one of us is happy. <laughs> Mama T-Rex might be too big to fit inside the house, but her baby isn't. Okay, baby. Here you go. That's a good baby. Now come on inside where it's nice and warm. Is that good? <laughs> My chance. Thirty-seven degrees, which means T-Rex has the same body temperature whether it's inside or outside. Which means you can control your own body heat. Which means you're warm-blooded. Thanks, baby T-Rex. Oh, hi, baby Smile It On. It's okay. I'm just here to observe you. And maybe pat you. Focus, Dana. Focus. You can't get too attached. Aww. No, don't do it. Where are your parents, baby Smilodon? Is that one of them now, baby? I think it is. I better give you some space. Is that your mom? Looks like she brought you some lunch. Mom animals are usually the ones that feed the babies. I think I'm already too attached. I mean, the female Smilodon appears to have brought her offspring some food. Oh. Now where's she going? <laughs> there you are. Are you looking for your mom, baby? That doesn't sound like your mom, but it does sound like a predator. She's 
definitely a predator, and I think she wants the baby smiling on to be her prey. I can't interfere. The scientist must only observe. Easter. mom. are some of the most fearsome prehistoric mammals ever. They use their tusks and heavy bodies to battle predators. Except they aren't right now. What are they doing? The adult mammoths are forming a circle around the baby. Smileron can't get through. Better luck next time, Pterodactylus! And from your size, I'd predict that you're only a baby. Adult pterodactylus are about the size of a duck. And you're so much smaller than that. Aww, you're so cute! Wait, are you okay, little friend? 
did you fall out of your nest? Don't worry, baby. I'll get you back up there. I'm an expert tree climber. Hop on board, baby Taro. You comfortable? Then let's get you home. The trick to climbing trees, baby, is to find strong branches to hold on to. That's a good one. And here we are, safe and sound. Hop on out, baby. Now, be a little more careful up here. You don't want to fall out again. <laughs> Observe you, but I've got a card game to win. <laughs> Mama Taro, be careful, or your baby will <laughs> fall down. <sighs> Phew, that was close. I told you to be careful, Mama Taro. <laughs> now, let's get you back up to your nest again. Good morning, Mama and Baby Pterodactylus. Now's my chance to test Mr. Hendrickson's theory that the Mama Pterodactylus is pushing her baby out of the nest to help her learn to fly. She's doing it again. Looks like the baby's trying to flap her wings. Come on, baby, you can do it. And she's falling. What? You did it! You're flying! Good job, baby. And good job for teaching your baby how to fly, Mama Taro. Gave her just the push she needed. 